Europe is admired everywhere, it seems, except sometimes at home. So where have we got things wrong? When people talk Europe today, usually they mean the EU. The trouble is, identity isn't defined by institutions. It's defined by culture of our cultural diversity. It enriches our entire continent. So how do we bring our people closer to our institutions? It's an interesting question. Now, perhaps the wrong question. Perhaps we should be trying to do it the other way around and bring our institutions closer to the people. Until very recently, for instance, the world of television was dominated by broadcasters, broadcasters, traditional broadcasters like CBS, the BBC, Sky, Canal, ZDF, whatever. Their approach was simple, to get what you want as the consumer, as the citizen. You need to tune in on Thursday night at 9 o'clock or whatever the schedule required. The audience was required to come to the broadcaster. Television was institutionalized. But if we imagine the European Union as a broadcaster, how many would be tuning in right now? Not enough. Almost every government in Europe that's come up for re-election in the last six or seven years has been thrown out of office. As a political class, and I am part of it, we in Europe have simply been getting it wrong. It seems to me that if you want to explain what Europe stands for to the outside world, and we do for all of the reasons that are necessary, we must first begin by doing a better job of explaining us to ourselves. And if culture means identity, then surely identity means culture. In Europe, we have a great story to tell. Extraordinary plotline, overflowing with wonderfully diverse characters, but perhaps we've been spending too much of our time, instead of telling that wonderful story, and concentrating on the punctuation. We should continue to define Europe in a cultural sense and embrace diversity rather than focus on uniformity. Culture binds and defines much more fundamentally than political institutions. And our culture gives us enormous power and shows us the way ahead. Winston Churchill once described Britain and America as two countries divided by a common language. In that spirit, perhaps we should see Europe as a continent brought together by our diversity. Ladies and gentlemen, Europe culturally is the greatest story ever told. So let's keep telling it and stop roaring quite so much about the punctuation. Thank you.